Welcome back to Houston Life. The University of Houston had one of the greatest eras in college basketball in the early 1980s with a series of teams nicknamed Phi Slamma Jamma. Those teams advanced to three consecutive NCAA Final Fours. And they were known for their dunks, their high energy, and the team featured many greats. People like Hakeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, and our next guest, we're so honored to have right here to Houston. Lyndon, such an honor to have you here with us today. We know that you have really a unique perspective on this because you've been there. What's this like? Well, I'm on in so that the University of Houston Cougars can be playing and win a national championship, <laughs> but that didn't happen. So first and foremost, let me congratulate mm -hmm. University of Houston um, Coach Sampson and every, every one of those kids because they made us all proud. Absolutely. And they can hold their heads high. They, the city was excited. We wanted more. It wasn't meant to be, but we're still proud of them. We're Absolutely. very proud of the Cougars. Absolutely. Go Cougars. Mm -hmm. All eyes on Houston right now. And you really have a unique perspective, as Brittany was saying, mm -hmm. about what it's like to actually be on the court as a player, have all eyes on you. What is the has to be in the city now? What memories does that call back for you? Oh, it, it, it's, uh, it's something you really can't explain. Uh, in 1982, the year I played in Final Four in New Orleans, it was the first year that they had the NCAA Final Fours in a football stadium. Oh, wow. So it brings back the same type of feeling. Uh, it's a big arena. Mm -hmm. You have thousands of people. It uh, could be a distraction, uh, but you still have to put the, ba the ball in the basket. And so... Um, it, it helps when you have a great guys like Clyde Drexler and Kim Elijah one, a great coach like Guy Lewis and the other teammates uh, there to, to help you out when uh, things doesn't always go right. So I, I know what it is now that these guys are feeling. They're nervous. Mm -hmm. You can't help to be in a new place, a new city, because um, I don't recall is, has there ever been a team from that city playing in the Final Four. So Houston, we would have made history again. So. Uh, these kids are nervous, everyone's excited, but um, it's something that you would never forget. It's probably the greatest experience that I've had playing basketball. Wow. That's fantastic, yes. Karen. It's a great experience you've had. And, yeah. and seeing the families come together during Final Four, during Fan Fest, has become really a family event. I think that's part of what you wanted for Houston as well. Yes, yes. And, and everyone is knocking which teams are here. Yes, we wanted the Blue Bloods. No, we wanted the University of Houston. Yeah, right. <laughs> or a team from Texas. Texas, right. Baylor, TCU. We, we had a great group of teams, and we all were anticipating uh, selfishly who we would like but uh, Miami had something to say about that. Uh, UConn had something to say about that. Uh, FAU had something to say about that. And San Diego State had something to say about that. The toughest team or the team that plays best that given day will always win. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's yes. it like for you? Because you do have this unique perspective. And now to be on the other side and helping to bring this here to the city, what's it like for you as you sit and, and watch? The games and watch Fan Fest and just see it all. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan and uh, I'm mad at Major League Baseball. I love my Astros, but yeah. couldn't we uh, open up on the road and come back home next week? You know, <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm just, just, just kidding. But uh, I think for a family standpoint, it's the greatest thing you can take your kids, participate in all the events, the Fan Fest. Uh, someone re describe it as the wonderland of sports. Mm -hmm. And um, you have everything there, interactive. You're going to have celebrities there. You can get involved. And it's the only time in life that everyone can be a basketball star. Because you get to pick what game you want to play, <laughs> and there's no yeah, pressure. Yeah. There's right. no pressure. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Exactly. Yeah, have fun. Yes, yes. We know you're not originally from Houston, but you certainly are Mr. Houston. So we are we're so happy that, you know, that you're, you're here and that you've really brought this to Houston, brought it back to Houston and been part of the yeah. team to do that. Yeah. So uh, Houston really is in the national spotlight right now. So how does that feel? It's, it's good. I mean, the, the Houston House County Sports Authority, we have the Final Four this year, and we're going to focus on that. But next year, we have the College Football Championship in 2026, the granddaddy of them all, the World Cup. <laughs> So that's the, uh, I'm just blessed to be a part of this great organization with uh, uh, Chairman Friedman leading, uh, Janice Burks, who chairs uh, executive uh, director, 
people like Patty um, Smith and the rest of them, Holly uh, Kesterin and, uh, and the rest of the team, and all of my board members, we've all mm -hmm. played a very part, and, and I must give kudos to Mayor Turner. He was the one who stepped up and stepped out in his leadership and be a part of the leadership. And every other member, that's the thing about Houston. It is Houston proud. Mm -hmm. Once we start to do something, we want to do it. We do it better than anyone else in the country. So I'm very proud to be a part of this community. And anything that I can do to, to live up and, and uh, to the expectation. But again, I'm so proud of my Cougars. Mm. And I want everyone to feel, and I want all of our Cougars fans who are expecting to see our Cougars play, come out and enjoy. Let's be good fans and, and, and support basketball and, um, and with NCAA because guess what? We do well this time around. Next time we go to bed, they're going to look at it. I mean, it has a, a financial economic impact. Um, over a hundred million dollars. So anytime NCAA, it's a business. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we put on a good show. Uh, the mayor and the police chief, Troy Finner, said it's going to be safe. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, let's enjoy it. It's in our backyard. Yeah, a lot of people re working really, really hard this weekend to make it all happen here for these teams and for yes, Houston as well. Yes. So thank you for your hard work. Too. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Incredible. Before it. we go, I have to ask, who is on your song? Yeah. This is, oh, my goodness. This, great is, this is my granddaughter, Zoe Lynn. Oh. And um, I try to take her everywhere that I go. And, and uh, her father, my son LJ, got me a pair of sneakers with a name on it, personalized. But more important, I have a picture and I take it with me. And uh, I know one of you have a two-year-old. I do. There yep. you go. So yep. you know what it is, terrible two. But it's a precious too. It's yeah. joyful, right? You want to it's hang on joyful. to that moment. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, she's precious. And yes. thank you so thank much you. for joining us. As Thanks our... for having me. And uh, go Cougs. Yeah.